Gail Brantek with Glen Allen Marine Designs, and today I'm going to show you what's included in a set of plans and patterns when you order them from us. I'll be showing you two sets of plans. The first one is for the Zip, which is a 14-foot runabout. It's designed for plywood construction. With every set, you get instructions, and these are phase-by-phase -phase instructions on how to build a boat. And they also include a bill of materials and a fastening schedule. So they're in order of construction. The next piece of material you get is the Build It Yourself, the Glen Elway Manual. And this is a general construction manual that comes with most all of our designs. And this shows various boats in our workshop being built. So it's not specific to the boat you're building, but this gives you an idea with pictures and captions on how it goes together. Then you also get pattern instructions. So this tells you how to use the full-size patterns that you're getting for your boat. And then the back side shows how to join plywood panels with either a butt joint or a scarf joint. Okay, so now we're going to look at the plans for the zip. All right, these are the zip plans. And these are pretty generally how the format of all of our plans are. On the first sheet, you'll see the profile and the deck plan of the boat. And these are all to scale. The scale will be on the plans at some point, and usually one inch equals one foot. Sheet two will have your lines drawings. And this is not necessarily something you need while you're building the boat, but it's a good reference to have. It shows you the shape of the boat and how the lines were developed. Sheet three will show the deck framing and the bottom framing as well as the construction profile and various other portions from the, for the plans too and putting the boat together. And the last page shows your building form. So this is the building form here and the bill of materials. And then this shows how the frames are set up and the spacing with e between each frame for this particular boat. And then each of the frames are detailed as well as the stem. Okay, so that's it's a pretty detailed set of plans. And then these are the patterns that you get for the zip. Now the zip only has three frames. So here you've got frame four and the stem as well as the transom. Now these are half patterns. So as you see, this is the center line. So you get one half of the pattern. And then you flip that over to draw the other half of the boat because it's the same both sides of the center line. And as you can see, there's the full size pattern for the stem. And all of these can be laid directly on the wood and, and transferred using our transfer paper um, with a pencil or whatever other, you want, other marking tool you want to use. Or you can even make cardboard patterns of each frame too. Sometimes that's a little easier to do. And so the, on, the, on the zip you get a second sheet. This would be the remainder of the frames and the breast hook. Again, all full size. And the next one I want to show you is for the Riviera. Both of these are very popular designs. The Zip is probably one of the most popular boats we have, but I wanted to show you the difference between an inboard and an outboard. So this is the Riviera. Again, your instructions and the booklet and pattern instructions are included. And again, the pattern plans always follow a very similar format. First sheet, the lines drawing. And then on this one, a little different because the in, this is the inboard profile which shows your motor placement. And this also, not all the designs have this, but this shows the legend of all of the various inboard parts that you need for this boat. And then there's various sections also that show you details for different parts of the frames and the boat construction. And then again, the last sheet would be your building form, materials list. This is the pictorial on how that goes together. And then the details for all of the frames. And again, on this particular one, the patterns are very similar to this, the zip, except for they're a lot bigger. So you see you've got large frame patterns. Frames are a lot bigger. Again, they're, you get half of it over the center line. And the Riviera comes with a couple of sheets, as you can see, with a lot more detail. A 
okay? Transom. And I want to show you one more. And the reason I'm showing you this is because some of our designs don't have, as you can see on these frames, you've got both inside and outside line of the frames. <clears throat> some of our designs, this one's the Tahoe, <clears throat> and this is a 23-foot boat, and it's built the same way as the Riviera. It's cold molded construction, and it's a runabout, 23 foot. But this one doesn't have the inside line of the frames. This one just has the outside line. So I can show you the whole thing. So, as you can see, you've got the outer line, which shows the shape of the hull, and that's the important part. And from this, you're going to have to draw the inside line yourself, depending on the width that the designer calls out for in the instructions for each frame. And you've got your shear point, or your keel point here, your chine, and then your shear at the top. So I wanted you to see the difference in the plans and patterns for each design, and I hope that helps. So that's what you get in a set of Glenel plans and patterns. And you can order them on our site, glen, that's G-L-E-N-L.com. And so you know we've been in business since 1953, and our plans and patterns have been bought by thousands and thousands of people, and our boats have been built by folks all over the world. They've been tried and tested, and um, we're pretty proud of them. So I hope that you'll decide to build your own boat and order them from